Hello John Ox Village family, this is Steve. We're here with another behind the scenes video today and I'm just about to go over to the uh, courtyard cafe area, actually into the kitchen back there. Um, Chef Tim is going to be doing a cooking demonstration um, today. He's actually bought a bunch of ingredients um, himself and Carmen thought of this great idea to use ingredients that he purchased from the uh, coffee shop market over there in the courtyard area. Um, and he's going to take those ingredients and do a cooking um, demonstration today. And there's some residents actually coming along as well to this class. Um, they're going to see uh, Chef Tim cook this dish. Um, they're also going to, going to get to eat that for their lunch when he's done. So it should be pretty interesting. Um, I've no idea what type of ingredients he's bought from the shop. Um, I guess we're going to go over there and uh, see exactly what he's got and uh, hopefully have some fun with this today. Let's go over there and get this done and uh, see what happens. I wanted to show exactly what we've got here. Okay. So, first of all, what are, we, what are we doing here today, Chef? Well, today we're going to make things that you can purchase from our store down by the coffee shop. And that's the coffee shop market? Yes, sir. The coffee shop market. All right. So what have we got here? What have we got? So here we have uh, par um, Parmesan Romano cheese. Okay. We have frozen veggies. Okay, it's like a Price is Right right here. Like a Price is Right, <laughs> right. Different types of frozen oh. veggies. What is this right here? So This is root vegetables, carrots, sweet potatoes, and parsnips. Okay, that was frozen veg. This is another frozen, frozen veg, veg veggie, veggie spirals. Okay. Zucchini. Okay. We have chicken bouillon cubes to make a stock okay. or gravy. We have Cornish game here. And who'd think you would get that down at the coffee shop market? Right, you can get those things down. We got, so here's one thing. We're never gonna always have the same thing. We change yeah. items and different items because I know people get bored. So we'll do different things. Or, and of course we'll bring back the, mo the most um, uh, uh, top sellers there. But you, you were trying to do something really inventive with ingredients that are available there right now. Yes, everyone can use, uh, everyone can put together a garlic basil vinaigrette dressing that I actually marinated the Cornish game hens in. Okay. Sprinkled with a little of this Italian... Italian seasoning, okay. Seasonings from Tony's. And then here we have some grits, polenta corn grits. All right. That you can uh, uh, do certain, um, do different things <laughs> with. Okay, so in just a moment, we got some residents coming in to watch you do this, basically cook this dish yes, here, sir. which is going to be, what's it called? Uh, this is a baked Cornish game hen on top of grits and sauteed frozen vegetables. Okay, the residents are just about to come in, so we'll welcome them and we'll get to cooking. Yes, sir. And they're going to get to taste it at the end of this. Yes, this, sir. This, yes, is, sir. this is something that you do every once in a while, just a cooking demonstration. Yes, uh, I try to do it like every quarter. Uh, of course, COVID, so we're getting a chance to do it. Uh, this is the first one that we're bringing back. Um, also, keep in mind that cheese, we got dairy, we got eggs, we got milk, we got bacon. There's a lot of things you can purchase from the store, especially mm -hmm. with the winter time coming around, you can't get out yeah. to the store. It's very convenient. Well, I'm gonna take a walk down there and show the store actually on video in just okay. a second after, after we're done with this cooking demonstration. That's a great idea. Just to remind everybody where it is and exactly what they've got in there. So we'll okay. go do that after. That's a great idea. So uh, yeah, we're about to welcome the residents uh, in just a minute and uh, good luck with today's cooking chef. Thank you, and uh, we hope the residents enjoy it. And I'm sure they will. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, we'll speak to you later. All right. Anybody been here before? No. First time? No. So uh, I've done this before, pre-COVID. Usually I do in the back room out here in the kitchen. Well, not in the kitchen, in the back dining room. I usually have around 15, maybe just 20 people. Right now, only you all, which is still great. Uh, I think, I don't know why, maybe people just, it's not getting around yet, or maybe some people don't want to come out and be around other people, but uh, it's a good time, it's a good thing. Uh, are y'all familiar with the, the um, coffee shop? Yes. All right, so we got a market that's in the coffee shop. Uh, that it used to be run by volunteers, but we're taking it over. Everything you see here, you can purchase in the store. So basically, the whole uh, uh, idea of this cooking, cooking demonstration is to be able to utilize product that's in the grocery store. When you can't get out, weather's bad, things of that nature, you can always create something. So everything here, we're gonna create. I'm gonna start off, I got, I'm roasting Cornish game hens. You can purchase that from there. Can't show you how to uh, cook that off because that takes time. I do have this cooking out, but I'll go over how I uh, prepared it. Polenta, we're gonna show you how to make polenta today. And also saute off some frozen vegetables. Now, with the Cornish game hen, I took the 
wishbone dressing. And I also took some of this Tony seasoning. And I made like a vinegar, it was already a vinaigrette. I just mixed it together and I just had to bird marinate it for 24 hours. Right in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. I'm gonna show you how to make grits, polenta grits. You're gonna add a little Parmesan cheese. You're gonna make a broth with the chicken bouillon cubes for a little flavor. And we're gonna take the vegetables, we're gonna saute them off. So it's pretty simple. Uh, we got different things, like, like I said, we got different things at the uh, market that you can do. This is just one of the things that I decided to put together. So we'll get started. So right now I have three cups of the water and the bouillon cubes at a boil. Got a cup and a half of the polenta. When this comes to a boil, come at this way. When this comes to a boil, we're just gonna slowly add this in. We're gonna stir that. Shouldn't take that long, maybe about five minutes. We're gonna turn it down, let it simmer. Well, you also can add some butter in this, which we also sell down at the store. Does that cook pretty quickly there, Chef? It cooks pretty quickly, but sometimes it, it cooks too quick. It can still be grainy. You want to add a little more water to it. What kind of uh, consistency are you looking for here? So you're looking kind of like a cream of wheat consistency. Okay. Now, there's a bunch of different things you can do with polenta. You can cool it off, put it in the sheet tray, put it in the refrigerator, let it get hard, cut it into squares, and deep fry it. Or fry it on the, uh, fry it in like a cast iron skillet. This is how it looks. Hmm. Take a look, Jeff. All right. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna taste this just to see where we're at. That's good. This is really pretty fast. Next, we're gonna add some cheese. What I have here, right here. We got palm down there. So polenta itself doesn't have much flavoring at all, right? No, you polenta doesn't have much flavor at all. Um, polenta is basically just very ground coarse corn. Uh, I believe um, it's a Latin term, polenta. Okay. Give that another little taste. That's wonderful, that's lovely. That's where I want it. Next we'll get our pan hot to saute. And then I'm gonna step aside and go to the back and check out the uh, corner sand, see where we at with that. All right. One second. Have you ladies seen a cooking demonstration before? No. No? This is your first time coming over? All right. Well, hopefully you're gonna learn something today. Well, this is our Cornish hen. Look Those at those guys. Yeah. Roasting. So what, did, what, did you put, what did you put on top of there, chef? What seasonings have you used on top of that Cornish hen? So, will be this marinade or this vinaigrette. Okay. Some of that seasoning, a little salt and pepper. Everything you can get out the store. Okay. Very simple. That's real good. Yeah. Yeah. 
little bit more water to it. So these vegetables that I have right here, I got some root vegetables, parsnips, carrots, and beets, and I got some, also I have some zucchini spirals. So I'm mixing these two. I didn't use these today, but it is something you can get. Now these vegetables you can microwave. I like to saute them off a little bit for a little flavor, add a little garlic. But those vegetables, pick them as well. You wanna just, like I said, you wanna just saute them, you can, you want to just microwave them, you can. So I got a little garlic here. I'm gonna use. Yep, a little olive oil. And I'm gonna go add some shallots. And I'm gonna shoot these here. Garlic, you wanna. Careful to the converter quick. Now these vegetables still frozen. Now I'll get a little fancy with it, hit it with some white wine. Well, you can't get that in the shop, but you get that at the bar. <laughs> So this is a pretty quick dish other than other than cooking the Cornish hens, right chef? A uh, very quick dish. I want it to be quick also because I know a lot of people don't have a lot of time. They want something fast but still want something somewhat fresh. That's another reason why we got the uh, Cornish hens down at the market. We sell a lot of pre-made dinners, like TV dinners. And I figure they always everyone don't want to eat the TV dinner, you know. The TV dinner is filled with a lot of sodium. And here you can control the seasoning. Yeah, 
You can smell the wine you've used in that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got one more. I got a half five. <laughs> huh? That's a pretty yeah. smart looking dish there, Chef. Thank you. And we'll take a closer look at those ingredients here again when we're done, just so everybody knows exactly what we used here. What do you think about how that how that looks? Kind of first impressions. Yeah, it's presented very well. Have you ever had Cornish hens before? Have you eaten a Cornish hen before? Yeah. Mm. So what does everybody think? Have everybody tasted it now? Good. Hello. Can I ask you what you thought about today's presentation and what you thought about the meal? Oh, I just thought it was a wonderful meal and a good presentation. I enjoyed it very much. Okay, so what, what, do you, what, what should you say to your friends and neighbors to come out for the next time we do this? This is something they ought to do because it's fun and, and very delicious okay. meal. Okay, so. well good, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thanks for coming. What did, what did you think about today's uh, meal and today's presentation by Chef Tim? Uh, very nice. I, I especially liked what he did with the frozen vegetables. Okay. Because microwave frozen vegetables are not good. Yeah, that's right. So I think that's great. But Chef Tim took him to another level. Oh, yeah, I think they'd be better, much better that way. All right, well, thanks, thanks for coming. Oh, yeah. Hey. Very nice. I enjoyed it. You had a good time? Oh, yes. Very so, good. what did you think about the food when you tasted it today? Delicious. Yeah. You enjoyed it? Yes, very much. I learned. I didn't know they had frozen veggie spirals, so that's okay. nice to learn. Cause I didn't know that. And all this stuff's available from the coffee shop market. Right, that's what you said. Yeah. Nice to well, know. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. What did, what did you think about it? I'm impressed with all this setup, and I'm just amazed at how they get all this food out. When you call yeah. and get your food in 15 minutes, it's yeah. hot and delicious. And this was very nice. All right. Well, do what, it again. what would you say to everyone that's kind of seen this event on either in the voice or advertised? What would you tell them to come 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 see it? Right? Come witness it. Come, yes, come experience I think it. So. Yeah. Especially with those of us that are one or two in our apartments, we need to learn how to cook yeah. nutritiously, but not so much for one person or two. All right. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. Thank you. Thanks for coming. It was nice. All right. We are now walking down towards the coffee shop. 
And if you didn't know, the uh, coffee shop market is uh, right here, very close to where you would get your coffees and ice cream. Um, on this sign, you can see the coffee shop is open seven days a week. Coffee shop market is open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you would just come in here. We've got everything you might need um, from the grocery store. Um, those basic items that you might need last minute. Um, as you can see here, we've got canned goods. We have breads. Pastas, pasta sauces, all that kind of stuff. Um, and there, right there, is the uh, Cornish hens that Chef Tim was working on earlier. Now, frozen goods in here as well. You can see those will change quite regularly. Um, we have snack items here. We have potato chips. What else do we have over here? If you want to buy candy, we've got candies. There's some gift items left here. And we have some cleaning products here, items for your kitchen. If you've uh, run out of laundry detergent, I'm sure you'll be able to get it from right here. And on this side, we have uh, some bathroom items. Uh, looks like shampoos, deodorants, uh, kind of some med a few basic medicines right here by the looks of things, um, some wipes, that kind of stuff. And then right here, we've got milk, we've got tea, we've got yogurts, cheeses, eggs, and bacon. So as you can see, you can grab your last minute items here or something that you've run out of or create a dish like Chef Tim did for us today. So there we go. That's the uh, coffee shop market over here in the courtyard area at John Knox Village. Have a good day, we'll see you later. All right, I am back in the office. That was a lot of fun today. Um, amazing what uh, Chef Tim can create from uh, whatever ingredients is thrown at him. And I know he had a choice of what he could get there, but he went through that coffee shop market and found those ingredients. And uh, I mean, it was amazing what he plated up there. I mean, I'm, I think you'd agree. I mean, that was a first class meal right there. And those residents that were there watching today, I mean, had so much fun. They really enjoyed it. And they got to eat lunch there as well today too. And something cooked specially for them. So that was great. Um, next time, I mean, Chef said, Chef Tim said that he does, he does this on a regular basis, maybe, maybe three or four times a year. So next time we see this uh, advertised in the Village Voice or in the mid-month, um, a cooking class with Chef Tim, maybe you want to come along. Um, if we get more residents this uh, next time, um, we may have to move out into the courtyard uh, restaurant area itself to do the demonstration. But as you could see, I mean, it's pretty fantastic what he did today. Um, that's about it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video once again. Um, we've got some more videos coming up, so uh, look out for those. And uh, my final thing to say is don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. Um, it's pretty easy to do. You hit that red subscribe button and click the notifications bell. And every time we release a video, YouTube will let you know it's there, okay? So do that for us. Give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed our videos um, and share videos with friends or family too. We'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.